Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be installing a an RV outlet on an existing panel here, and I'm going to walk you through that process. I already have one RV right here, but I have a lot of people coming in for Thanksgiving, and um, I only have one RV outlet right there, so I'm going to be adding an additional one below the actual uh, main breaker box here because I have an external breaker box that's connected to my light pole. And so I'm going to be showing you how to do that and walking you through that process. Okay, step one, we're going to knock out a three quarter inch knockout on the main breaker panel. And now we're going to insert a three quarter inch electrical PVC connector into the panel and use a lock nut to lock it down. Tighten it up real good. Now we're going to insert a three quarter inch 90 elbow into the connector and another three quarter inch 90 elbow on the opposite side of the pole. Once we make sure all the fittings are correct, we will glue them together. Now let's get our 30 amp RV outlet kit that we bought. And we're going to take out, take the face plate off of it. Now line it up with the pipe and secure it to the pole. Now let's knock out the center three quarter inch knockout on the RV outlet box. First we'll take out the half inch and then we'll go in and knock out the three quarter inch ring. Just bend it down on the edges on each side and then come in on the bottom and pinch it together like that. Now let's just work it out. Bend it back and forth and there it is. Okay, let's insert another three quarter inch electrical PVC connector and lock it down as we did before, tightening it up to secure it. Good. Now let's measure the distance and let's go ahead and measure our electrical tubing and using a PVC cutter we will cut it at the right length. Now let's insert it in, and once we make sure everything fits good, we'll glue it all together. Alright, now that we've glued it all together, let's go ahead and insert our 10 gauge wires. We're going to need three wires, red, green, and white. It'll come up in the main box. Let's pull it out, pull a good length out the, the amount that we will need to connect it to the main breaker box. Now on the RV outlet, there is going to be a silver side and a copper connector. The copper connector is where the the positive or hot wire goes and the silver will be where the neutral. Looking from the back the hot wire will be on the right and the neutral will be on the left. From the front the neutral will be on the right and the hot wire will be on the left. Okay, let's unscrew the ground wire connector Now let's insert the ground wire into the grounding bust. I'm going to tighten these wires up a little bit, make sure it goes in real well. Insert it there, get it all the way in. And now well, let's just tighten this up. On all connections, let's make sure that they're very tight and just give it a good, strong, secure tightening. Now let's insert the hot wire into the side the copper connector and get it nice and tight and now let's do the neutral although an RV outlet appears to be a 220 outlet it is actually a 110 outlet okay now we've tightened that down really well now it's time to put the cover back in the box. There's two little guides right there. You can see over on the left. 
make sure that you get it in between those two put it up and down and now let's secure it with the included screw tighten that down and now we've installed the outlet now it's time after we get this done to connect the wires to the breaker box always connect your wires to your breaker box last this is the grounding bus we'll put the grounding wire in to one of the available grounding bus connector ports and tighten it down always tighten everything down really good okay now we're going to connect the neutral wire to the neutral bus and again let's make sure we tighten it down nice and snug sometimes it's hard to keep that screwdriver right in there just right okay okay now we're going to connect the hot wire to the breaker make sure the breaker is off before doing this insert it well it doesn't go in a long ways but make sure it's fully inserted now tighten it down and again make sure this one is very tight like that well there you go it's installed just flip it on and you're ready to go it's done well that's as easy as it is I hope you enjoyed this video if you have please like subscribe and comment remember all the parts and tools used in this video I will provide a list of equipment and parts in the description just look in that area to find those until next time this is the jungle explorer signing out <music>